What's going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shake72 coming to you guys with a video on the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Seattle Seahawks away. And we have to talk about this game because we were coming off of a very good game where we ran the ball, the offensive defense clicked, we played as a full unit, and we stopped the number one offense in the league last week. Now we go on to Seattle where we're facing Pete Carroll, Russell Wilson, and that. Seahawks defense that's ranked very high and we're just at that line with them I think they're ranked a little bit better than us but um we're just there with them um and we know about Richard Sherman and Earl Thomas and all those guys um Michael Bennett will not be playing this game he will be out that's a D tackle out but with with the Seahawks they always have good guy. they have guys that especially backups that that do very well um their defense literally isn't like Jim Schwartz's defense. That kind of, um, they do like a cover three front. They do like a cover three where they, they, they'll they keep a few guys back. It's the same as the Falcons game. Kind of, they kind of, they they know we don't have any deep threats. So they're going to fucking, the DBs and the safeties are going to back up a little bit. And they're going to keep them inside for those. It, the cover three is all about not taking those long shots downfield, which they know that we can't do. Um... So right now, that's it. Um, they they do a lot of man on man coverage. As I was looking, a lot of man on man coverage. They um, they don't like they don't double team anybody. Rarely, the safety really doesn't help anybody a lot of the time um, because of Richard Sherman and everything like that. But um, Nelson Aguilar is going to be by himself on an island a lot of the times because if he's failing, and I'm going to watch for this during the game if he is failing at this shit. Um, we need to like do something or just put him on the practice squad or some bullshit because I want Paul. I'm gonna say this a million fucking times. He just heard me say it almost. Um, I need Paul Turner on this fucking active roster. Um, maybe not for an outside guy, but um, I'm just being completely honest that we really need something that's gonna really trigger this. I, I don't know. I mean, something needs to happen. Something needs to happen. We can't go on like this anymore. Um, we are stuck with the players that we're stuck with. Thank God Nolan Carroll is going to be coming back. And I'm telling you right now, and the more I see Jalen Mills play every fucking week, he's only getting better. Let me tell you, he got a fucked up ridiculous call on Julio Jones last week. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. Who gives a fuck? But good fucking coverage. Jalen Mills is, play is, the, is the best rookie cornerback drafted this year. He's playing better than anybody. Um... I think, what is it? Uh, he's leading the all-corner, rookie corners and tackles, and pass deflections. I think with nine, I think Jalen Ramsey is probably ranked the worst. And he was ranked fifth overall in the first round. And this guy's a six-round pick. Probably could have been a second or third round pick, but because of off-the-field issues, Jalen Mills dropped tremendously. Um, so, yeah. So, we'll see what happens. Jalen Mills is playing great. I mean, the guy is just competitive. The guy, like, just... If he fucks up, and he's fucked up a lot, everybody, we know. We haven't really had a play that was 25 yards or... or like, I'm talking, like, a long pass downfield. We haven't had one of those since, what, Chicago when Alshon Jeffrey caught that shit deep? Other than that, we really haven't had any trouble with that. And, and, I'm, and he's honestly playing the best corner on our team. Leos McKelvin has his on and off days. McKelvin's, I mean, I, I'm just glad that he, he brings that veteran presence there to the guys, and he's very competitive. And as long as he's that, that's all. I know we get on these fucking corners. Nolan Carroll's doing actually pretty good. Um, probably playing the, probably playing better than last year. Um, but this is what we got to deal with this year. And um, to turn this shit around, just think about it. You really got... You beat Seattle. It's a big fucking game. Any given Sunday, anyone could beat anybody. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't give a fuck what the record is. Okay? We beat the Steelers. We beat the fucking Patriots last year. Who the fuck... I didn't think that. I just said, oh, I'm just going to watch this fucking game and just see what happens. That's it. I just sat there quiet. I wasn't excited. He was like excited. I'm like, I'm like yelling in front of the TV. And like, then I saw some shit happening. I was like, holy fuck. Are they going to actually win this fucking game? It's fucking crazy. And 
I love this fucking team. And the problem is we're fucking losing against the teams. We're losing against the teams that are, I don't know, we're losing against teams that all have good records. And then we're winning against teams that are very fucking good. We've beaten a lot of teams this year with winning records. And that's a good thing. Do I see a lot from this team? There are little glimpses of like, fuck, man, like, we could have beat them. But, like, some shit just happened. Like, stupid little bullshit. Holly, uh, Halapuli Vitae, the right tackle, he's doing tremendously good. Ever since the Redskins fucking game when he fucked up on three, you know, let Kerrigan get three fucking sacks. Shit. I was like, holy fuck, this is, this is fucking crazy. This might actually fucking work. Um, and they're playing well without Lane Johnson. Is it going to help in Lane Johnson's back? Oh, yeah. If we can make a fucking wild card playoff berth, and then Johnson comes back the last fucking game or whatever the fuck he comes back, shit's perfect. But the Seahawks are coming off a good win against the Patriots, and it's going to be a fucking crazy fucking stadium. Fans all over the place. Um... It's one of those games where the off it stadiums that have really good crowds, they take a lot of pressure off of the defense. It it puts pressure on on offenses that come to the stadium and the linemen don't get a an edge start to block. You know what I mean? They don't get a good start to block. They lose count of the you know they can't hear the call because of the loud stadium. They can't hear the call too well. Um, it makes a huge, uh, makes a huge fucking difference, but, um, we need to get this fucking win. This is something we need to do. I'm sorry, I'm walking around. I'm just, I'm very antsy this morning. Um, we need this shit. I don't care how we get it. Peterson said it perfectly at the press conference. He said, it's always a good thing when you go to an, uh, a stadium of another team, it's always a good thing to think that you need to get a nice lead to shut the crowd out. But this is not quote-unquote what I'm about to say, is that he pretty much means that they cannot be thinking in their heads when they get to that stadium that they have to get a lead. Otherwise, the game's over. They just got to fucking play. They got to go with the flow. They just got to go with the flow and fucking play, okay? Okay? That's all they got to do. They can't be worrying like, oh, we need to get like at least two touchdowns and then we'll be good. And then we just hold them off the rest of the game. They can't be thinking that. They can't think that. Shit's going to happen. Um, you know what I mean? People are going to make mistakes. It happens. It's football. And no one's fucking perfect. Yeah, you're in a professional league. But shit's going to happen. Okay? It's going to be hard to run against that fucking Seahawks defense. If our offensive line steps up, they're great against the, their defense is great against the run. Our defense is great against the run. They're seventh or eighth, and we're seventh or eighth. I think we're right above them or below. Oh shit! Just call my phone. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're right be- above them or below them. Um, but that's really it. I mean, offensive line's got to step the fuck up. Defense. I mean, Pete Carroll is. I heard the phone call. He was talking about the defense. He's like, you know, that Philly, that Philadelphia defensive line has got some great, great people that know how to pressure the quarterback. Russell Wilson is going to be the big edge because I remember when we with the Chip Kelly era. I remember we faced the Seahawks with the 2014 season after that nine and two start after Thanksgiving, and then we lost the next fucking four. Didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, um, the Seahawks game. Russell Wilson ran all over our fucking asses. For one for a fucking touchdown from like the there from uh, from their uh, R forty, um, and it was fucking nuts. Um, He's got a pair of legs on him. They have to pressure his ass. But the thing is, the edge rushers like Barwin and Graham, they have to get fucking rush that edge and they have to contain. Rush, but contain that edge. Because if they we don't contain that shit, it is going to be all fucking day for fucking Russell Wilson, okay? It's going to be all fucking day. Not even that. Nigel Bradham has to fucking get on. I think Nigel Bradham can handle fucking Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham, not the fastest guy, but he'll make one-handed grabs in his fucking... With, with one fucking arm. Not a one-handed catch, but he'll fucking bear claw that shit 
with his arm and bring it down. He's got the size. He could fucking do it. So they have to take Jimmy Graham out of the fucking game. Um, got good wide receivers, whatever. But um, that's really it. Ryan Matthews, do the same shit they did last week. Ryan Matthews, Ryan Matthews showed last week that he is the number one. He was the number one pick. Um, he was a, a first round pick. I mean, he was a fourth pick in the draft in 2011, 2012, something like that. I think 2011. Um, I was really happy with that. Ryan Matthews, I've always been a fan, I've always been a fan of Ryan Matthews. He's just fumbled way too much in his career. He's missed too many fucking games, and he's never fucking healthy. So his contract's up after this year, and we're going to see where it goes. But um, that's all I want to say about the Seahawks game. Let's go fucking Eagles. E-A-G-L-E-S. Eagles! Let's fucking go. Let's take care of this. Have fucking faith in the fucking green bird. Let's go.